everybody. Welcome back to Starfield. So we need to continue our assessment of the, the venue here by checking out the door locks, apparently. Which seems like the sort of thing that might rouse suspicion, but okay, whatever. Um, right, we have Andreja here. Uh, did I... Did I bring Simeon with me? Either I left Simeon back on the ship, or he's just having a damn good time somewhere. Uh, either way, <laughs> we'll, we'll move on regardless. Everybody seems to be having a rather good time, it has to be said. So, door locks. I'm assuming it's going to be the main doors out this way. Uh, I assume incorrectly. <laughs> oh, we're, oh, we're heading back up to the VIP lounge. Okay, brilliant. This is where all the bad things usually happen. <laughs> but fine, we'll, uh, we'll roll with it. So, uh, <laughs> wait, there's no Benjamin Bayou waiting, waiting uh, to spring out at me. No, I think we're clear this time. Goodness, right, I'm not touching any of the refreshments. That usually ends in trouble. Oh, interesting. We're heading around here. Oh, this must be the uh, this must be the area I'm that I explored not. previously. I don't remember asking. Okay, not over there by the looks of it. One of the VIP rooms right at the back here. Ah, here we are. Right, okay. So Ah, ah, I remember seeing this terminal before. That makes sense. So I'm guessing this is the room that we've got lined up for when we meet the dealer, the person who apparently has this artifact about their person, uh, or in their collection at least. So let's check Securitar. Oh, novice little hack. Uh, let's see, you two are outside only, so you're going to be... Ooh, you could be there or there, but looking at it, the two keys are actually identical. So, we'll go for you and you. And then on the inner, uh, are we looking at that? No, we're not looking at that. That was about to catch me out. Naughty. That one and the sour. Okay, remote door control. Ooh, adding new user to remote, remote door control override. Approved hand signal will allow you to use the lock door to VIP lounge a total of one times. That seems a bizarrely specific security measure. Do a hand gesture and it'll lock the door, but it's a one-time use. Okay, do I get to pick the hand gesture? I've got a couple of choice ones in mind. Scheduling. Room has been booked by Redacted. Please see Boone Morgan for scheduling conflicts. Why does the barman do all of the, uh, never had the, the scheduling? For computer systems. Oh, you never had the patience for speaking face to face either, apparently. Uh, oh, there you are. <laughs> you can throw your voice really well, Andresia. That's quite the talent you got there. So, I think that's the Astral Lounge cased now. Yeah, we now need to track down. Uh, what was his name now? It was James something. Cause any trouble? And I'll drag you. Again. Oh, I'd rather you wouldn't. Yeah, James, someone or other, is apparently uh, organising this particular meeting. So we need to go and track that person down and uh, see what they know about our mystery collector. Oh, hello. We're back into Neon proper. Where, oh, where might this James chap be? I ask myself. How are you liking that laser gun? Wait, I'm sorry, what? How are you liking that laser gun? <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure who he thinks I am, but I don't think uh I don't think that was meant for me. So, investigate the cellar. I'm I'm not sure quite how or when we uh we were told about the exact location of this James person, but we seem to know exactly where they're residing. Oh are they Oh Newell's goods? I don't think we've been here. Oh, wait, hold on. What's the name of the uh, the individual? Let me see. James Newell. Oh, right. Okay, well, that makes sense then. <laughs> James Newell is a store owner. The store in question, Newell's goods, funnily enough. So, yeah, that makes some sense. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset, but Administrator Bay, you came by. Oh. Oh, yeah? His Majesty decided to come down from his throne and walk amongst us peasants. What did he want? He said he wanted to personally thank us for our contributions to the city and hopes for our continued support. Our contributions? Those taxes we pay are a sham. 
So he can line his ivory trade tower with another layer of gold. This is beginning to make sense. You have a moment. Say hello to my wife, Rosa. Hello, your wife, Rosa. Is his wife. Um, hi, Rosa. Right, so this guy does not like... Sorry, were you in the middle of something? <laughs> this guy does not like Benjamin Bayou. Yes, yes, that's that's your name on the sign. That's right, James Newell. You own this shop. Um, something I'm tells me I'm not going to get along well with this guy. Gone too far this time. Oh no, this again? James, you have to let it go. Let it go? Why should I? Every time he pays NSEC, he enables them, Rosa. He's telling them it's okay to blackmail us. It's ridiculous. Seacart rings a it's bell. The way things are, James. There's nothing we can do about it. All right. I just wish things would change in the city. If you'd like to buy something, he seems like quite an interesting help. character. Do you know what? I think I am going to take James's advice. I am going to say hello to his wife first of all. I'd like to try and uh, get, get a bit of background on the guy. He seems quite um. Unusual. Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. Yeah, your husband, actually. Uh, what do you actually sell here? What sort of store is this? A bit of everything by the looks of it. We're a general goods store, so we carry all sorts of materials you can use to outfit yourself for galactic exploration. That's what I said. Okay, sounds like I'm the one who should be helping you. Uh... I hope nothing's wrong. You sound awfully tired. You look awfully tired as well, actually. Oh my, do I? That's awful. I should be taking better care of my customers. I don't feel guilty. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart, who he's angry at for paying off Neon Security. Seacart, I wonder if that is a store, and by extension a store owner. So I want this Merchants Alliance, I wonder if they're not only sort of bucking against um, Benjamin Bayou, because he mentioned the sham taxes, but also this Seacart person who seems to be going along with it. Um, yeah, tell me more about Seacart. He runs Seacart's Outfitters. Ah. It's right outside the spaceport terminal. I suppose you could say he's our only real competition. If you ask me, he isn't such a terrible person. Please don't tell James I said that. Okay. Um, so why has he been paying off security? For protection, I assume. They apparently target certain businesses with some type of safety assurance fee hmm. scheme. We've been spared that indignity so far. But it's absolutely disgraceful this kind of thing is happening. Neon Security's running a protection racket on the s smallest concentration of s stores in the settled systems. Okay, um, yeah, I heard something about a merchant alliance. It's a little group James formed, with some of the other vendors on Neon. I'd call it more of a support group, because <laughs> all they do is sit around and complain about how hard it is to run a business here. Okay, um, so you're... I, I don't know if I go so far as to say she's taking Seacart's side, but you can... Kind of see the foolishness of shouting about it, I guess? I'm not taking anyone's side. I just want all this infighting among neon store owners to end. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do to survive. Yeah, if the... Just, uh... Uh, please don't tell James I said that. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. Mm. Yeah, if the guards are doing a bit of a shakedown racket, then you can kind of understand. Um... What might helping your husband solve the problem? Does James know that you're not completely on his side? I have no idea. Anytime the subject comes up, it turns into an argument. Frankly, he's so obsessed with this Dietrich situation, I don't think he's listening to me at all. Hmm, okay. Um, so why do you think he's wrong about this? It's just a feeling that I have about Dietrich. I'm sure he's paying off Neon Security because he has no choice. I can't afford to fight back like my husband expects. Okay. Um, you seem like decent people, I guess. I mean, possibly your husband's slightly unhinged, but uh, I'm willing to help. Oh, no. I'd hate for you to get sucked into the whole silly affair. 
It would be so lovely to see my James happy again. He used to smile at me all the time, you know. Now all I see is worry on his face. I suppose you can speak with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store a bit before you do? That's a really nice way of saying, why don't you take a look at our goods and give us some credits before my husband kicks you out? <laughs> um, how did you two meet? Oh, he'll be so upset for me telling you this. But it's such a funny story. I can't resist. James and I used to work on the Chasm Bass line at Xenofresh. Ooh. We didn't do any of the Aurora extraction, just dealt with the leftovers. I was a supervisor on the line, and when the alarm went up that it had been stopped, I investigated. I find James inside a storage vat, <laughs> up to his shoulders in stinky fish guts, and blind as a bat. The gut got in his eyes, you see. <laughs> I had to walk him to the showers, strip his work clothes, and hose him down. When he saw me standing there, he turned bright red. <laughs> After the shift ended, we went out for a terror brew and talked. A year later, we were married. <laughs> Better times. Better times. Ha! Huh. Not often people can say that their first date was one showering the other down. Um, okay, so what's your take on Seacar? Dietrich is actually quite a lovely man, though lately he's been under a lot of pressure, which has made him rather bitter. When we first opened our business here in Akuchi Market, he was actually very helpful. Offered us advice. Didn't treat us like competition at all. I'm sorry, I just don't believe Dietrich is doing anything wrong paying off Neon security. We all do what we have to do to survive in this wretched city. Mm. Unfortunately, my husband is convinced that fighting City Hall is the way to solve all of Neon's problems. I think he's wrong. Hmm. I'm inclined to side with you on this one. Okay, uh, what's, what have you actually got for sale? I hope you find what you need. Hopefully. I do need know that I need to... Oh, they do sell ammo. Awesome. I do know that I need to stock up on some uh, six and a half millimeter uh, mag... What's it? Magnetic induction, I think. Looks like they don't have it. That's what um, Crix's big old um, <laughs> lead spitter takes. So uh, let's take a look. Is there anything that I'm particularly short on? The problem is I don't really know <laughs> which weapons take which, uh, which sorts of ammo. Maybe I should uh, draw myself up a little bit of a shopping list. But I know that six and a half millimeter MI rounds are definitely something that I need. So I'll keep an eye open for those. Suits, helmets, um, a fish worker mask. <laughs> I wonder if that's used. I wonder if that's one of theirs from when they were on the line. <laughs> Possibly it's her husband from when she was uh, hosing him down. Uh, ooh, flashy leatherwear. Well, uh, I just noticed these actually have... Ooh, interesting. I hadn't noticed before that the suits and we... we ooh, Astral Lounge uniform. Um, the suits, and we have got a couple of them from when we were on board the... Um, oh, what's it called now? I've forgotten the name of it now. The Siren of the Stars. Uh, have Persuasion Chance modifiers, which is quite interesting. Trident Luxury Lines Cap. Oh, speak of the devil. United Colonies, and what are these? Neuro Boost. Ooh, hello. I think this is the first time we've actually come across Neuro... Um, there's a word, the collective word for them, isn't there? But neuro thingies, plus five percent intimidation chance, plus ten percent diplomacy chance, plus ten percent instigation chance. Right. So these, I'm guessing these can be worn independent of any other clothing. Maybe we could do with investing in one. Hmm, okay. Um, intimidation and diplomacy are fairly, fairly sort of self-explanatory. What's instigation? That gives us an extra 10% chance in instigation, which would be lovely if I knew what the hell it was. Um, maybe let's take one of these for diplomacy. Yeah, why the hell not? Slip that on in a minute. I, I hope. I'll probably forget. Uh, ship parts, um, general. Good, yeah, we, don't, we definitely don't need those. Big house, the comic, oh, the merchant. Lovely. And four tissue picks. Can never have too many digipics. Right, have let's good day. let's slip that new thingy neuro amp. That's it. Let's slip the new neuro amp on. Uh, Neurocom Mark Two. Right, lovely. We're wearing that, but where 
I wondered to myself, is it actually listed? Oh, interesting. It looks like we don't necessarily wear it when our helmet's on. Is that right? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, is it listed under aid? Neurojack? Oh, no, that's actually, uh, that's actually a medication. Right, I'll have to track down where that's listed because I'm going to need, if I get a couple of those, I'm going to need where it is in my, in, need to know where it is in my infantry in order to, um, to actually, oh, it's under apparel. Cool, right at the bottom of the list there. Nice. Awesome. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. <laughs> She's not interested. I'd leave it, James. It's having fun, James. Don't kid yourself, Rosa. Aurora isn't fun. It's a poison. It needs to be taken off the streets. She looked straight at me then after she said they're just kids, as if to say, you see what I have to deal with here? You carry on doing what you're doing, Rose. I'll take him off your hands for a second. Hey there. Welcome Hi. to Newell's. Great. Speak to me, please. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. <laughs> He's really got it in for him, isn't he? Um... Okay, uh, hey, who's, who's Rosa? Rosa Newell is my wife. We own this place together. Oh, the lady I was speaking to for 10 minutes. Yeah, got that. Right, okay, so tell me about Sieghart. <laughs> got a funny feeling that smile on his face isn't going to be there for very long. Sieghart's outfitters? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. You don't have to pretend you haven't been to his poor excuse for a store off of Bayou Plaza. I don't think I actually have, to be honest. Uh, healthy competition is one of the cornerstones. Detecting a bit of competition. Yeah, sounds like you've got a bit of, bit of an issue with Seagart. Oh, I don't have a problem with his place. My problem is Seagart himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Ah. Worst of all, he pays off Neon's security to keep his place safe. So he is part of this merchant alliance that you've got going on the platform here. He just doesn't attend. Okay, so uh, yeah, tell me more about the meetings you hold. A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchants alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Okay. I mean, it sounds like a good idea in principle, but it also sounds like you're now... <laughs> ganging up against Seacart. Um, so how do you keep your place safe? By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. I thought he was talking about some sort of... Um... Uh... What am I looking for? Someone coming in and actually holding up the store, but I think he's referring to the guards. Right, for all you know, he doesn't have a choice. Maybe you should mind your own business. Keeping his place safe sounds like smart business to me. Um, we don't know that for sure. Rose has got a suspicion that he's having to do it to survive. Uh, Seekart, this is. So, but yeah, he, he may not have a choice. Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. The only way to fight Neon security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Um, yeah, already done that through Rosa, but thanks. Uh, so is you think that all of Neon's secu security is corrupt? I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. Um, if it wasn't well... for the Free Star Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Speaking of which, I have been kind of neglecting my duties in that capacity. I'm a Free Star deputy, don't you know? Hey, you wouldn't think it to look at me. So, okay, um, I got one side of the story. What's your side of the uh, the little love tale between you and Rosa? Tell me about that shower you had. I arrived in Neon almost uh, what twenty years ago. I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend and started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbas Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. <laughs> it wasn't long before we decided to quit Xenofresh, get married, and start our own business. We've been in love 
ever since. That's lovely, but I do feel like you may have skipped over a detail or two, but okay, we'll let it slide. Right, um, you set up a meeting with Walter Stride recently. We'll get to that in just a moment. I'm really interested about the sea cart thing. I can go and talk some sense into him if you like. Oh, okay, yeah. That'd be extremely helpful. Didn't think he'd go for that. I honestly don't know what to say. Uh, not doing this for free. <laughs> <laughs> as grumpy as he might be, I actually quite like this couple. I'm, yeah, you don't have to say anything. Fair enough. Just be careful when you're dealing with Sigurd. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. Yeah, I had heard he was a little bit moody. Speak to Dietrich Sigurd. Okay. So, um, yeah, have you actually tried speaking to him yourself? The first time I brought up the subject, we got into a huge argument. Sigurd said he had every intention of paying Neon security and that it was final. After that, I tried to speak to him a few times, but he's always been too busy to spend the time to sit down and have a decent conversation. It's obvious he has no intentions of talking to me anymore. I honestly don't know what I did to make him so angry with me. <laughs> but accusing him of being a turncoat and funding um, the oppressive regime probably had something to do with it. Okay, um, on to other business, James. You set up a meeting with Walter Stroud? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Let's say you did. <laughs> Let's say you didn't. Why, why would I just back out like that? Um, we can always fall back on the credits later. Let's try persuasion. <laughs> as successful as that usually is. Information isn't usually free. Oh. Now the smile disappears. Okay. Um, don't duck my questions. I know the seller came through you. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. Yeah, I'm asking on behalf of Walter Stroud. I'm sure he can pay you. What? Well, yeah, we're not lying. I guess maybe nice. I can add this to his tab. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Who? Sleep Crate 1. Let me write down the unit for you. Nice. Search the seller's sleep crate. Okay. Hey James, I don't want you to get upset. Ah, oh, we've already heard that, haven't we? Right, uh, I'm guessing this is probably going to be... Yeah, that's going to be troublemaking if I uh, hack into that thing. So, right, we need to head back down to uh, Ebside and search out this crate. But before I do, I want to track down Seagut's place. Let's see. Mining League. Right, medical. Ah, here we go. Bloody big sign. Nice. I don't think we've actually... No, we haven't been in here yet, have we? Neon is for indulgence and decadence. I am both disgusted and impressed. <laughs> and a little bit jealous, I'm sensing. up the rooftops and watching lightning hit the span? You know... That actually sounds like a good idea. Great. I'll bring the blend, you bring the chunks. It's Aww. a date. Sounds like they've got a hell of a night ahead of them. Okay, you, over there, must be Seagull. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Uh... I'll be the judge of that when I take a look at your stock. Uh, what exactly are you selling, anyway? The question should really be, what don't we sell? Chips? You sell we chips? carry a wide assortment of equipment perfectly suitable for stellar exploration and extraplanetary excursions. Best selection in Neon. Uh, I was about to say that. It's quite a bold claim. I can promise you, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. I think I'll just skip straight to the questions, actually. Um, starting to sound like a used spaceship salesman. <laughs> uh, it's... I mean, to be fair, actually, yeah, give him his due. It does look like quite an impressive and very clean store. Thank you for noticing. 
I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Hmm, I can imagine Bayou uh, drives a pretty hard bargain for a place this prominent. Uh, yeah, are you usually open this with this customers? You're being very candid. Oh, yes, absolutely. It can be off-putting, I know. I picked up the habit from my mother. She was an extraordinary woman, made friends instantly wherever she traveled. Wise as well. If she was still alive, she would have told me to move my shop and cease paying these exorbitant fees. Why don't you take her post-mortem advice? Um... Choice business locations aren't cheap. Fair. Sounds like someone didn't do proper financial planning to me. Um, yeah, you should be making a fortune. Why aren't you dragging more people through the door? You'd think that, right? Unfortunately, I'm barely scraping by. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. Well, actually... So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? Okay, I'll take a look at your stock. Absolutely! Here's everything I currently have in stock. Uh, let's see, what have we got? Um, no ammo. <laughs> Rubbish. Well, that's a turn off to begin with. Great. Uh, you've only got a mining cutter. Some packs. Decent array of suits, actually, to be fair to him. Um, a few helmets. Lovely. And some gaudy clothing. Marvellous. Right. Uh, do you have... No, you don't even have any digipix, so... <laughs> okay, sorry, Seeker, you actually don't have anything I want. Well, hello. Where did you materialize from? Come on in. Please, have a good look around. So, how long has this place been open? I'm just going to distract you from an actual paying customer to uh, bug you with more questions. I've been at this location for the last eight years, but I've had a business in Neon for almost 20 as soon as Ryujin broke ground on the tower, I knew the city would start swarming with people, so I went all in. I love this business. It's my life. I can't imagine doing anything else. That's making me lean more towards him paying the Neon Guards out of necessity, not out of preference. Um, maybe a store would be more successful outside of Neon. Uh, yeah, have you ever thought of opening up business elsewhere? My dear mother would have said the same thing. The fees here are quite expensive, and I'm barely making ends meet. But I've always been quite stubborn. It has not always been easy, but I've been at this location for eight years, and I won't give up. My business is my pride and joy. You won't find another store like mine on Neon, so please support my business with your patronage. You won't be disappointed. I already am disappointed. I've already taken a look at the stock that you don't have. Okay, uh, yeah, James Newell isn't particularly happy you're paying off Neon security. Yes, I'm aware of James's objections. That's partly why I don't go to the meetings. But if I don't pay Dexler, I'll lose my business. Dexler. And what good would joining the Alliance do then? So, really, I don't have a choice here. If they want to fight Neon Security, they can. But I need to protect my livelihood. Okay. Tell me more about this Dexler that you're paying. Oven Dexler <laughs> is head of Neon Security. Sorry, I think I just lost you a customer. he is less concerned with crime than he is siphoning money from honest businesses. But it's not just him. All of Neon is corrupt. The only way to survive is to give in to their demands. Hmm. Okay, and this merchant alliance that uh, James has set up, what do you think of that? It's fine in theory, but this isn't New Atlantis. It's Neon. Corruption is an institution here. What can a single alliance do to stop what's built into the foundation? I don't want to seem like a defeatist, but frankly, it feels like a waste of time. Hmm. Sorry, defeatist of you. Okay, um, the merchants look up to you, they need your leadership. Wait. 
Do they? <laughs> I didn't I didn't get any hint of that from James when I was speaking to him. You can't be okay with letting Dexler profit off your gains. Newell says if the Alliance is unified, you can stand up to Neon Security. Yeah, he seems to think you can all make a unified push against them. I can kind of see why James is annoyed, because if the guards are siphoning that much money off of um, off of Seacart here, then they're probably less inclined to pay attention to the others. Easy for him to say he doesn't have my debts. If I don't pay Dexler, I might lose my inventory. And if I lose my inventory, I'll lose my store. I think you should stop the payments. Let me get back to you. Okay, let's try to persuade. And why is that? I've been on a positive run so far. Oh god, a plus five. <gasps> Whoa! Nice! Excellent! Inside news, because we spoke to Rosa. Rosa Newell said that she gets why you pay Dexler, but she also said you're a good man and good men stand up to corruption. And she's a nice woman, you should listen to her. Rosa said that? I remember when her and James first started. They were very green. It was a different time. Okay, you've convinced me. I will stop paying Dexler his safety assurance fee. And tell the Newells I will come to the next meeting. Maybe I will even bring some beverages and snacks. Very good of you. You can't stand up to neon security on an empty stomach. Don't go too lavish. You don't forget you're hopelessly in debt. Uh, so, okay, I'll go back and speak to James then on your behalf. Oh, bless. He's gone in the back to cry. Right, let's leave him to it. So I'll quickly call back in on James, give him the good news, uh, and also tell him he's probably going to have a little bit of a fight on his hands because uh, <laughs> those guards are going to want to be paid one way or another. And then... Uh, oh, I thought I'd lost the thought I'd lost the store then. If you're looking for supplies, this is the place. Good news. Well, I'll be. And all you had to do was talk to him. Funny how that has, a, has an effect, isn't it? You should have tried being less combative. Took some convincing. Sometimes that's enough. Um, yeah, perhaps if you weren't so standoffish with the guy, you might have come to a, some sort of agreement a long time ago. I reckon I should have. This whole time I've been so angry at Seeger for making those payments. I never bothered to ask him why. Why did I tell you? You assume the worst in people and you'll make it so. <laughs> I knew when I told you so was coming. But I guess I deserve it. Thanks for your help on this. The Merchants' Alliance is finally united. I don't know if we'll ever get a fair shake in the city. But it's a start. Ooh, nice. A little bit of a bounty payment for that as well. I wasn't expecting that. Very cool. Um, I did spy this helmet as well over his shoulder. I don't think we've actually seen one like that before. Hold on. Oh, I'm going to get in trouble if I touch it, but that's a very cool helmet. Can I sort of scan it? No, it just comes up as a mannequin. Okay. Nice. Is that for sale? Hold on. Why can I not speak to him? I had to chase more zone heads. I appreciate the help. Best deals in town. Let's see, what helmet is that? Uh, it's not even listed. Rubbish. He's just showing it off for the sake of it. Thanks for stopping by our shop. You're so welcome. Bye bye now. Okay. So I need to get down to website, don't I? Uh, let's see. What's the best way for me to go? Down here and left. Right. Let's see if I can find that sleep crate. One of these, I'm getting, <laughs> I meant to say as well. Look at these absolutely horrible sleep. Well, not even a sleep crate, is it? A sleep nook? That's disgusting. You just shove yourself in there, pull the shutter down, and weep. Good God. Right, so, where am I actually headed? Around this way? So, we've got a few different. Uh, it's an option. Got a few different sets of sleep. Oh, is it this one? I flew my first starship. It was virtual. That's yep, wild. definitely that sleep crate. Oh no, hold on. Is it? Wait. <laughs> it's leading me different directions now. That's inaccessible. Is it this one then? I guess it I guess it must be. Novice lock. I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble doing this, but oh well. Right, you're outside edge only. Are you there? no you're not there. There? Yeah, there we go. That one will fit with that one. Lovely stuff. And then let's 
slot you in somewhere where you go there maybe? Yes, you will. And then you'll fit there. Marvellous. you can succeed at that before we are discovered. I don't think anyone's that bothered, to be quite honest with you, Andresia, surprisingly enough. Ooh, hello. Got a slate there. What's this? A little teeny tiny computer. Look at it. Oh, it's so, oh, oh you're so cute. Oh, look at you. Whoa, hello. Slate and aerospace. Wow. Right, this is a different background. So this is this is our cellar of this artifact. Has this tiny little sleep crate, but a slate and airspace computer. Right, personal correspondence one to Musgrove. You might not be aware, but there's a certain item that your employer has that others have taken an interest in. Now, I know you're gainfully employed, but that's... Uh, what's the harm in a little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, uh, well, I would want to know if I were you. Ooh. To Musgrove. So, was that sent from this terminal? Or was it res received here? Is the person that has this little sleep crate Musgrove? There's some correspondence too. I'm not joking, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. So it sounds as though this Musgrove probably is the person with the sleep crate. So they were working for Slayton Aerospace. This person's contacting them saying that their, their job is at risk, but that they also want to get hold of a certain artifact that uh, their boss has. Correspondence 3. Huh, per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come for you. So I wonder if Musgrove is the person that we've uh, we've got this meeting set up with. Right, interesting. Have a little look here. Termination notice. It came through. Due to changing priorities within the organization, your role within Slate and Aerospace has been made redundant. Please clean out any personal items and inform anyone who needs to know about your imminent departure by the end of the day. <laughs> same, same day determination. We thank you for over a decade of service and trust that our long-standing relationship will keep this transition free of unpleasant incident. Wow. Thanks for dedicating a decade of your life to us. Clear your desk, get the hell out. Keep your mouth shut. Galvank statement. I've got an impression this is probably going to be uh, a page full of zeros. Please be, <laughs> please be advised your current pay cycle will once again leave you with a near zero balance in your account. Wow. Um, yeah, hence the digs. Can't even afford a bed. Good God. Wow, poor Musgrove. Um, Andresia. <laughs> leave the poor leave the poor person sleep great alone, please. Okay, so we need to get back and report to Walter. So uh I'm assuming he's in the Stroud Eckland offices. Let's find our way back there. Oh you two, get a room. Hello, hi. Uh, right, got an update for you, Walter. I think you're going to find this quite interesting. How are the preparations coming? Uh, it's done. Let's get to the meeting. Find out the cell is pretty desperate. Should give us an edge. Uh, cast. Yeah, let's tell them about the uh, the cellar. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the astral lounge. Oh, you Goodbye, don't want any dear. details then? See you at the next board meeting. Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation, just in case. Good luck, all of you. Little operation. <laughs> One of the premier shipbuilders in the settled systems. Could we um pick up the pace, please? Every smuggler I have ever worked with had a perverse affection for this place. I do not understand it. Hmm. Ah, here he is. How did you do that? I was right behind you, then you vanished. Right, you ready to do this, Walter? Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. And the size of a rifle case, we I guess. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Ramsey and Travers? Who made that up? <laughs> this, oh, the scientists who discovered neon gas. All right, <laughs> put me in my place. Are they? <laughs> okay, how do you not know what the cellar looks like? It's not like people who trade in stolen goods are eager to share personally identifying information. Well, they... It is if they want to trade it. <laughs> Otherwise they could... Okay, never mind. Right, so use the code phrase to identify the cellar. Got it. Code phrases? 
Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. You hear that, Walter? She thinks you're adequate. <laughs> I take the compliment where you can, mate. So, let's see, secure case. I don't think I've ever actually crept up here, have I? Is there anything of interest? Oh, the lounge special looks of particular interest. Um, but otherwise, no. Uh, nothing here by the looks of things, no data slates. Uh, over there. Right, nothing to be seen, but still. Yeah, nothing here. Right, anybody with a uh, with an oversized case this away? Doesn't seem to be. Mm. Up there? Oh, hold on, that's a case. Who this? Who are you? Mickey Caviar? Oh no, that's that guy, isn't it? The bold fellow. Scary, excuse me, coming through. The uh, the space chef. Here we go. Yeah, good for you. Enjoy. Stay out of my way, please. Oh, hello. We've got dancers on top of the bar now. Oh, that's a point. I need to go and see the DJ at some point. I need to work out how to get to the DJ. There was some word that uh, that she was having some... I can't remember her name now, but she was having some sort of trouble. Anyway, I think we are here for this gentleman. Musgrove, there you are. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Uh, I mean, your empty hands would, uh, would say otherwise. Uh, right, I'm with... Ramsey and Travers. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? Correct. In one of those fancy VIP lounges? That's right. Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Okay. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. Okay. Hey, you wanna dance? No, I most certainly do not. Goodbye. Yeah, the, uh, oh, really annoying me that I can't remember her name, but yeah, I need to see the, uh, the DJ. Okay, find the elevator, he said. Aha! Here he is! You don't look the least bit out of place in a nightclub, I have to say. I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Well, thank you. Uh, seems cagey. He didn't seem that bad, to be honest. Nervous more than anything. You owe me all the money. Um, right, yeah, one step closer. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. Oh. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands. And we're not dead. How does that sound? Yeah. Uh, seems pretty straightforward. He doesn't seem like the type that is going to try to sort of <laughs> flatline us where we stand. Uh, but just in case, what if things get messy? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. <laughs> uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. Uh, believe me, around these parts, so do I. <laughs> Especially in this club. Oh my god. Right, let's go and meet with this cellar then. Okay, uh, uh... He's buggered off again. He's got a habit of doing that. Sorry, excuse me. You see an old another man walking day, this way? Too chatty, are you? Here we go. They're primed and ready. We meet again. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. Ah. Uh. I'll sit. No sense making anyone uncomfortable. I'm standing. Deal with it. Um, I will sit for this. He seems like he's... Like I say, he doesn't seem outwardly aggressive. I think he's just more nervous and he realises he's in a... Uh, he's in a pretty dire position if he doesn't pull this off. So no sense making him nervous. So polite. 
Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. <laughs> right, let's get this over and done with. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind. And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Or you might. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? <laughs> Grab the artifact and run. <laughs> Remote trigger the door to close. I think we'll keep that in our pocket for a moment in case he does try the old walkout trick. Um, be reasonable. We can't just come out with double out of nowhere. Stop bluffing. We know you need to sell quickly. Ooh. Do we use inside information? Hmm. Okay. If you can show a little bit of sass, so can we. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. <laughs> Walter knew exactly what was going on. Um, No, you won't. You still need the money. Don't be rash. We can still make this work. Right, I'm not going to close the door just yet. I don't want to make... I don't want to sort of corner the guy. Yeah, you still need the money. What are you going to do with that thing if you don't uh, actually sell it on? I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me. Instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's <laughs> it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah... Uh... Do the smart thing, take the money. Might have wanted more, but this is still a good deal. Uh, Yeah, take the money. You know that you need cash to get out of here. All right, you win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Well done. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. You know he's still in the room, Go don't home. you? Shall we? <laughs> God. I would like a little bit of a word with you before we disappear. Oh, hello. I can smell your cologne. We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Uh, we're not out of here yet. Right, <laughs> let's leave. You're doing Constellation proud. We did oh, I didn't even get to use my fancy hand gesture. Dagnamit. Whoa. Uh, slate. Whoa. Andresia, you couldn't have pre-warned me? Hello. Who are you? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Maybe. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. I would have told you if you'd have given me a chance. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Oh, wow. Now. Hello. There's a guardian on it as well? <laughs> Security, when they harassed. Security's probably in on it. Don't do this. Don't do... Do you know what? <laughs> Let's go with Persuade. I feel like I've... Uh... I, I've been on a bit of a roll recently, although this was probably bound to fail. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? Sure, there's a way we can both walk away happy. What's he? Oh, Persuasion 6. This is gonna be a bit, bit of a challenge. Right, um, this is probably gonna fail because I've succeeded the last few of these, but let's go for the Amber one. Your boss didn't understand what he had. Constellation will share its secrets if you let us go. Not happening. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um... Oh, let's try another four. We didn't steal anything. We purchased it. Happy to talk this over. Uh... Oh, actually, this could be interesting. Even if we fail this, it would be interesting to see what his standing is with Neon Security. He seems to be looking over his shoulder a bit. Hold on. Let's keep Neon Security out of this. You hear that? You stay out of it over there. Unless we need assistance. Um, right, give me a chance to talk with Slayton directly. We can sort this out. I'm listening. Oh, nice. Huh. Passed another one. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. 
You just stood there and watched it go down. I used to Slayton be an actuary. Dead. Now look. I would hop on the first ship out of here you can find. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to get much more information out of you. I will bear it in mind. Right, this way, Andresia. Let us get the hell out of here before things turn nasty. That's not the elevator. <laughs> That's the elevator. Right, hey! hopefully... Whoa. Having fun? Okay, that made me jump. I thought someone was coming. Whoa. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. <gasps> He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. Oh, crap. There goes our way out. Great. They took the Evelyn. Um, yeah, right. Tell me about this Nicholas Slayton. Presume, actually, I, I hadn't even considered this. Slayton, I guess, is a competitor to Stroud Eklund? The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters. Okay, um... How do they know it was us? The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. I'm wondering if that guard upstairs was paid off to report back. Uh, anyway, so much for this being easy. Yeah, we need to get Slayton off our backs. Seeing as he's a direct competitor, maybe you know some insider tips? Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. Oh. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Thank you very much for the tip, officer. I'll be making some calls. See if I can't lend a hand. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Is Asher seriously going to say, hey, I know your husband, after we've literally been conversing for the past few hours? Um, okay, what's your take on Neon's problems? Oh. Interesting question. Neon is the ultimate playground for people who have money. And that means we exhaust ourselves sabotaging each other. It's fun, but a huge waste. Hmm. Stroud Eklund, as a company, doesn't believe in restraint. But sometimes, I wonder if Neon's lack of a moral authority isn't hurting everyone. Even us. Yeah, it is a bit of the Wild West out here. Um, even more so than it is on uh, Aquila. Um, what the Stride Eklund make? We know that they make ships and ship parts. We know that. Hey, I know your husband. Well, I should hope so. <laughs> he and I are very famous. And he stood right next to me. Right. Catch you later, Issa. Get yourself somewhere safe. I like that pair. Stroud and Eklund are very cool. Okay. Coast looks like it's clear. Get up this tree tower before... Uh, before any of this guy's men come charging at us. Right, uh, you two can get the next one. You're welcome. Slayton Aerospace Offices. Ah, uh, Neon. The house that Aurora has built. Why are you marked as an enemy? Um, <laughs> Stroud, you can go first if you like. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Wow. I mean, I like this. Like, wow, <laughs> that's super cool. Hello there. I have a question. You can chat with the receptionist all you want. Have I met your twin brother or something? You look just like a guy I was just talking to. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Yeah, warm welcome, Slayton Security. Um, Walter, I hate to say it, but my God, they've got a better office than you. <laughs> this is cool. I hope I don't pee them off. I fancy coming in and buying some uh, some ship parts. Anyway, hello. Everyone. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I want to talk to your boss. <laughs> I want to speak to the highest authority. Um, you impacted <laughs> my ship. You're all dead. That seems like a sensible retort. Uh, right. What kind of business is this? Slayton Aerospace is the premier component supplier for a variety of starship needs, but. If you were supposed to be here, you would know that already. Okay, I've roused his suspicions already. Um, no, I'm going to go for Persuade, but first... Uh, I do realise that I've been quite lucky so far with my recent persuasions. I kind of don't want it to end, so I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to go into our skills page, which I haven't visited for an awfully long time. 
Let's see if I can't boost persuasion a little bit. We hit the challenge. Uh, oh, I'd already put up to rank two. Nice. Um, let's rank this up again. And also, whilst I'm here, I'm going to go into my aid and I'm going to see... I need to use my aid more, um, partly to get an advantage in situations such as this, but mainly just to try and reduce my carry weight a little bit. But yeah, Hippo Lighter, 20% persuasion chance for 10 minutes. Let's use that. And oof, wow, that smacked me around the face. I can't remember. I know that I've done this before, but I can't remember off the top of my head whether precognition actually helped when we were doing the whole persuasion gig. And let's give it a try. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Your boss. Now. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. I'd imagine he is. Oh yeah, it doesn't work in persuasion, does it? Which makes no sense, but okay. Right, so. Six persuasion. Um, I have Walter Stroud with me, the CEO of Stroud Eklund. We weren't expecting a VIP to come through today. Let me just run a few checks. Uh, I'm sure there's a way we can walk away happy. I won't be needing to take up much of his time. We just had a misunderstanding. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Your uh, executive level access code. You, you're just letting me through. You're not going to sort of relieve me of my weapons before I see your boss or anything. Okay, that's fine. No, that makes sense. Uh, right, we've got a couple of emergency alarm levers. We've got a, a security office here. My God. There a problem? Uh, gate control. Interesting. No, no, just eyeing up your security measures. Never mind. Uh, nothing to worry about. This place is huge. I pay to talk. As if you've got four elevators inside. Gate control again. Wait. <laughs> That didn't do what I was expecting it to do. Okay, let's, uh, oh, hold on. See so if they got four elevators inside a place that you have Wait, to access by its own elevator. This isn't the executive. He's on to us. Oh. Order. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Uh, Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. <laughs> All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Okay. Uh, Issa has control of the building? For the moment. Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. Right. Um, I'm an elevator person now. I build my kingdom here. <laughs> it's so random. I've got to go for it. Well, if my wife and I could gallantly offer your majesty a rescue from certain death, let's go. Oh, God. Slayton's and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay, understood. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cupboard just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Understood. Can see that there's a gate control over there to open that up, but uh, yeah, it looks like he's probably put the entire floor on lockdown by the looks of things. All right, in here, you two. Gently does it. Uh, what, that goes straight into the elevator shaft? That's random. Okay. Walter! <laughs> oh no, the senior citizen's going to be a liability, isn't he? Ooh, is this right? That's that uh, lobby area where we were just now. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Are you going to be okay with this, Walter? Although he has uh, he has proven before that he's quite the sprightly old fella. What if one of them starts moving? Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, I think it's me I need to worry about, not him. That should be the security guard post, I think. Well, hold on. Can I drop down into security? Oh, no, this is n this is right next to the gate. That's still in the lobby. Don't want to be there. This should be over the drop security down point. The conduit all the way to the end. That's the fork. Okay. 
Whoa. Don't like this. Well, hello. We've got an emergency cut through. Where's that going to lead? Oh. I think it would be uh, a little bit silly. Oh, hold on. Oh, back up into the vents? There's a vent above you. Just climb up. All right, sorry. I appear to have lost your husband, but he's not uh, integral to this operation, is he? How? Ugh, okay, I don't want to know. Oh, it's a little friend. Grubbly. Yeah. Okay. Is that another hatch that I could take? It is. I'm going to push my luck. Lisa seems to know what she's doing. Stop. <gasps> One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Nice. Oh, I like this, uh, this sneaky cloak and dagger business. Oh, I think I might have to uh, help myself to some company creds. No data slates, though, which is disappointing. Uh, Walter? Did you, <laughs> did you bring the grub down with you? That'd be a nice little surprise for uh, whoever inhabits this office next. But don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stuck in the hall. Okay. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Alpha team, stack up. Go now, stretch your horse through the door. Whoa. It's a doggy. The Keep doggy bot. All the way to the end. Come on, you two. <laughs> oh my god, love this. Oh, I feel so naughty. Are we good to go through, Issa? Take it, we are. Wait, there's people on the room up ahead. Closing the shutters. Oh, in there? Yes, that's where she meant. Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Uh. Go now. Yeah. Let me just get this one for you. Nice. <laughs> you know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one, I promise. Okay. <laughs> Where did you hide the boost back? Oh. In here? What's all this crap all over the floor? Almost there. The door on the right. Where is this taking us? I'm so intrigued. We've got synth the meat chicken. No thanks. I'll pass. This is some sort of coolant leak? It's frozen the door shut. Give me, give me. Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. <laughs> well, I guess after you. We're scaling the outside of the tower. Um, all right. This doesn't seem the least little bit uh, perilous. It's through here. Oh, God, there's a guard. Let's get out. <laughs> Well, here goes nothing. Well, here we are. I'm so pleased that it's daytime, so any patrolling guards can see us from a mile off. Uh... Oh, crap. Nuts, did I just get spotted? I didn't even know there was anyone there. I'd rather not go shooting at them. The water's not that bothered, so... Okay, I'll get stuck in. Sorry! Oh, hello, this thing's got a heat force. Walter, are you going to be the bad man? Yes, you are. <laughs> Love that. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Oh, I do feel bad for shooting them. Where have they gone? But that's what I was wondering. But I don't think we actually need to be there. I think we need to head... Uh... Oh, no, we do need to go around here. I thought we needed to head up. 
Uh, I guess we're getting the guns out for the innocent guards again. Hello. Sorry about this. Oh, where have you gone? You got the fisticuffs out, Walter. Okay. I think that's it for now. Which is just as well, because I'm almost out of ammo. Rubbish. I'm going to have to switch to a different weapon, I think. Um, really, really hurting for ammunition at the minute. Whoa! Where? There you are. Oh, dirty dog. Right, hold on. I'm sure I must have something ranged here. Uh, there we go. The hunter wolf. Where you at? Where you at, guardy poo? I know you're up there. I think we need to be heading up there soon anyway. Is it up here? No, it's up here. Hmm. Wonder how handy it is to hip fire one of these sniper rifles. I don't feel particularly lucky. I feel particularly sad that I've had to start gunning down uh, people just doing their job. Because of their boss's greed. Sorry. Felt like there was another set of gunfire going on just then. Yeah, there we go. I see you. Hello. I'll make it quick. Any more? I think that's about it, actually. Hold on, did I just spot what I think I just spotted? Security guard uniform. <laughs> Ultimate insult. Grab the uniform as well. Might as well take the helmet. Right. What now? Any more? No, it doesn't seem to be. Am I heading the right way? I am. Oh, in here? Sweet. Okay. Hopefully... Yeah, that's heading back inside. Hopefully the folks inside didn't hear any of that going off. And I'll be safe. Keep on my weapons tucked away. Uh, we'll soon see. Ooh. Confront Nicholas Slayton. I feel like I might want to actually fall back on... Uh, let's go for... Let's pull out the Kadama. Been a wee while since I actually had the Kadama on the go. Keep that handy for any confrontations or uh, any sort of intimidation that needs to be deployed. You are coming in just behind the executive elevators. Oh. I'll call the one on the far end and you can walk right over the top. Oh, <laughs> I see. This doesn't feel good. Oh, hello up there. Nice lion. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> you have a funny feeling you might be on the losing end of this game, though. You're actually enjoying this, aren't you? Aren't you? In the back of your mind, through the tunnel vision of adrenaline, there's a part of you that belongs here. It happens to all of us. I would be lying if I said this wasn't kind of cool, to be honest. Um, right, call off your guard, Slayton, and release my ship. Let's see if we can do this without any more bloodshed. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although, I do count a few more guns on my side. Do, do they have superpowers? No, I didn't think so. Fine, what's a few more bodies? Wouldn't trust your mercs, they haven't stopped us so far. That's a very good point. Hmm. You do make a bold point, but that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes. I'm beginning to see the opportunity. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, 
and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting was caught prior to your arrival. Oh. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. Uh, um, clearly you want him dead. Decide as in we could let him go. Uh, yeah, you're obviously not going to let him walk away from this. I yield to your judgment. Wait, what? You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. That seems a bit extreme for I, the I wasn't suggesting he does it. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. I wasn't suggesting I was going to do it. Spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Yeah, I'm not going to kill him. I was just saying that he obviously wants him dead. Wait, hold on. He's not... Where is Musgrove? Oh, God. Uh, right, they already uh, did you in by the looks of it, fella. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humour. Uh, he wants me to decide what to do with you. Uh, where's the money? Wait, no, I'm not going to claw the money back from him. Um, yeah, why did you steal the artefact? I, I kind of know the details of him being laid off from Slayton, but... Yeah, give me the whole story. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Hmm. He wants me to decide what uh, your fate is. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Oh no, I completely Be lenient. Lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Oh no, I'm I'm completely letting you go. Dead anyway, Marks. We'll make it quick. Uh, you're going to jail. Uh, no, get your get the hell out of here. I. Thank you. Use this opportunity to alter the trajectory of your life. You may not receive another chance. A rare moment of Ooh. compassion. I didn't realize he was here. City. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Mm, I don't trust you. Let's talk more back at the ship. Wait, what? You're letting... Hold on. You're letting everybody go. What's the trick? Where's the catch? This was a good meeting. Very productive. Not gonna lie. I am, uh... I'm tempted. <laughs> Right, I won't push my luck. I kind of really want to get Musgrove out of here before we leave, though. Feels like uh, he's going to do the dirty on him otherwise. Don't worry. You'll never see me again. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling you might be right. Uh, I don't like this. This feels icky. This feels icky nasty. Ooh. <laughs> Could I, uh... Oh, hold on. What's that? I've never seen that before. Look at that cred stick with a credit symbol plus plus. Well, it's not marked as red. 529. I thought the plus plus was going to mean there's loads in there. <laughs> right, let's have a quick look around this executive floor before we disappear. We, we, I'd really love it if you two stayed in there with Musgrove. Gotta be honest. Um, what's in here? What is? Oh, I wonder if... Uh... Hello! Hi there, just uh, having a little bit of a, a sniff around. Not today, then. But don't push your luck. Were you about to pull a weapon on me? Why does everybody have that... Why does everybody have this weird, disgusting, horrible... Are you ex-spacers or something? They look like spacers in those... Get going. Mr. Slayton has done it again for you. This is all very white and very uh, 80s sci-fi, isn't it? Blimey. Yeah. Right, uh, I realise that I'm probably pushing my luck doing this, but I really want to just have a quick look around to see if there's anything that, um... Anything that I can, uh, glean from this place. Hello! Hello, everybody! Hello, Slayton's bodyguard. Looks like he's spoiling for a fight. Pop around and say hello. Introduce ourselves properly. Hi there. You look... You're not worth it. Lucky I'm busy. I can see you're busy. 
They're busy flexing at each other. Right, what's over here? Ooh, I can use this without reprimand. Nice. Remote door control. Open. Remote turret control. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to start uh, stirring up trouble by setting their own turrets on them. Hmm. Okay. Not a lot in here by the looks of it. No data slates for us to uh, for us to poke through. That makes me sad. Leon. Right, let's move. You've not killed him yet, so I'm probably safe to uh, to leave him behind for now. Hello. What's that? Sysdef pack, liquid cooled, balanced, epic boost, balanced boost pack. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much. An actual decent amount of credits and some ammo. Nice. Thanks. Uh, it's been uh, different. A bloody big picture. Ooh, executive washroom with a gold toilet. Wow. All right, let's not outstay our welcome any more than we already have. Oh, this isn't the exit. <laughs> I thought this led back round to reception. Never mind. Ooh, contraband cash. Why does why does he have a contraband cache in here? That's mysterious. Ooh, we do have a data slate at last. Nice. Slate and slate. Daily calendar today. Check in with agents R.E. Musgrove. Cover all possible meeting points. Astral Lounge, Madame Sauvage's, half the half of the good alleyways. Elevator security override test. Oh, that's what locked us in there. Liability insurance audit, both personnel and property damage. He might be calling on that for a couple of guards. Sorry. Um, preliminary activation of loss of life contractual clauses. Assume at least a dozen. Okay, perhaps I've actually lightened the load for you. Practice speech, elevator and arrival. He had it all prepared. Meditation for the day. Opportunity is created from setback. <laughs> My God, this dude. Uh, so tempted to go back in there and open fire, but I've got a feeling that probably won't end well for uh, Musgrove here. Right, let's actually get properly out, out. Takes us back to the lobby. And we're still not being fired on. So, I mean, that's positive, right? Have a nice day. The hell have you come as? Oh. Right, I'm, I'm actually weirdly interested in... Uh, it's probably not the opportune moment, but speaking about ship parts... Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. I'm afraid we aren't taking appointments right now. Hmm, okay. Slayton's probably going to give all of his staff a dressing down for actually letting me up there. Hmm. Well, that was different. I'm a little bit worried that they're going to waste Musgrove as soon as we leave the planet, but... Uh, but otherwise, I think we did well. Right. Uh, let's regroup. What are we doing here now? Go to the ship. Okay. Half expecting a big group of Slayton guards to come charging out of somewhere and try to intercept us, but um, it looks like we're actually getting away with it. Nice, well, gift horse and mouth and all that. Back to the spaceport. Back to the Evelyn, now that it's uh, no longer impounded. It's a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Isn't it just... Right then, Walter. Should we have a little chat? A deal with a man who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? Yeah, seemed pretty positive in my book, especially seeing as he was going to go completely scorched earth on us and then suddenly randomly said, actually, do you know what? Off you go. You're going to recite that Sebastian Banks speech later. You and your wife are cute. <laughs> Bless them, they actually are. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Some people call Issa a jewel, but she's more than that to me. I can't really describe it. There's a me, and a her, and an us. And I wouldn't trade the us for all the credits in Neon. Bless. You are very fortunate. And I am glad that you see it. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Never. <laughs> Whoa, ten grand? Nice. The fiscal quarter has been added. Okay, I'm intrigued. Let's take a look at this fiscal quarter. See if it's uh, see if it's a profitable one. 
Budum Ching. Where are we? Fiscal Quarter. Oh, it's a maelstrom. It's a very, very tidy maelstrom by the looks of it. Now, that's really interesting. Look at that. It's got what looks like Crimson Fleet. No, it's not Crimson Fleet, is it? That pattern is... Is that Ryujin? How bizarre. Right, it's got a shattering effect. Breakthrough even the strongest armor. Um, short scope, compensate attack, grip, armor piercing rounds, hair trigger. Nice! Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Yeah, it seems like uh, most people do. I've just noticed, I've, I've had it flash up on my screen, that um, Sarah wants a word, and so does Barrett, so does Sam. I'd imagine you'll be wanting to chat as well. I trust you are well. Um, I am. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, okay, so we need to have a chat, don't we? I think we need to make a priority of doing that. Some other time, then. Yes, some other time. Um, though not long, because uh, I want to have a little whisper with you about finding your, uh, your long-lost buddies. But I think first, the old man needs to return home. Let's get him back, uh, back to the lodge. Get him a cup of Horlicks and uh, tuck him in for the night. The engine's ready. both Walt uh I don't mean any harm I, yeah identify yourselves who the hell are you and what the hell is that ship the fact that you do not know says much we are the starborn and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts I do not recall that we asked your permission <laughs> good girl Tell us, please what are the artifacts? What are they for? Good them? man. What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. Love that Walter goes straight in with the opportunity to gain knowledge. Um, so our... Yeah, I'm, this, is, this is kind of... This question here is kind of bleeding into what I was just wondering. Are these even humans? The Starborn. Have you been observing humans for long? We are growing impatient. Cease your attempts to stall for time. I really want to put power into the graph drive. <laughs> speak our language. We know everything about you. That is why your kind cannot have the artifact. Right, so they've what, deemed us unworthy. And why would this be? Because we've got quite the collection back home. And I've kind of um, been leeching power off of them and their associated temples. Call yourselves whatever you want. You're just thieves to me. Uh, let's not provoke the um, possibly alien, possibly highly advanced race. Just tell us a bit more about who you are. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we mm -hmm. have a chance. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to jettison the artifact. They can have it. I'm blasting them into space dust. As tempted as I am. <laughs> don't think that's going to end well. Wait, hold on. There's another... God, there's another ship. Oh, crap. Uh, get out of here. You don't want to mess with this. <laughs> Who even is that? Oh, that's bad news. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that they are probably highly advanced. The fact that they've been monitoring what we've actually been doing without us knowing and, and us never having encountered them before. Is probably testament to that. So I think blasting them into space dust is probably a mistake. Um, 
and you have other things that require my attention you know sorry walter i didn't mean to uh, to hold up your arrangements uh, in in light of conversing with what could possibly be aliens get your priorities straight sir yeah, they they seem like they're not to be messed with, and um, they seem pretty intent on having the artifacts. So um, I think the sensible thing is to turn tail and run like hell. We'll get through this. <laughs> Hold on. Right, power out of missiles. Why can I not? There we go. Power out of missiles. Out of there. Whoa. Hold on. Where the hell did it go? Oh god, it's spinning around. Don't like this. <laughs> Don't like this. No, sir. Do not like this. Alright. Um, <laughs> I would like to go to Alpha Centauri, please. I'd like to get the hell out of here. Like now. Like really now. Like really much now, please. Walter, I'm sure you were saying loads and loads of really interesting things, but the stupid UC sec drowned you out with their scans. Uh, but yeah, no, I completely agree that we need to uh, we need to get our ass over to the lodge. Yes, I am. News travels, love it. Find comfort in the idea that the odds of something killing us here are at an all-time low. Uh, yeah. And I've got a feeling we've got something new that wants to kill us. So, thanks for the reassurance, I think. Uh, everybody! <laughs> we've got something to tell you. Right, is everybody here? We've got Vlad's here. Hi, oh, Vlad, been a while. Spend so much time looking at the scans, I can see star systems orbiting in my head. Uh, apparently I've got some survey data for you. You've tipped my ear. Have I? Oh, I have. Awesome. Survey data for Bannock Four. Uh, Bannock Four. What was Bannock Four? Was that the was that the planet where we got the uh, the legacy? I think it was. And Deimos survey data. Nice. Um. Do you know the way to any more artifact temples? Would like some of them uh, ours if you've got any going. Lucky I noticed the pattern in one of those artifacts you pulled out. Here. Tau Seti 8B. That was stupid because I should have asked him after I actually hand this artifact in, I guess. Ah, everybody else is here. Right. Come on. File in. <laughs> Tell the good people what we've all seen. Barrett. Sarah's having a bit of a sit down to uh, get over the shock. Okay, let's plop this. Everybody's just, everybody's just keeping themselves to themselves. I think everybody's uh, trying to get their head around what they've just seen. Okay, that thing is. Hold on. They knew what. They knew what we were up to. That. What they call itself? Star Child? So it knows that we've been collecting artifacts. What if it knows where they are? Uh, <laughs> Andresia, I think what you said when we were coming through the door might have um, prophetic uh, properties. Let's see, have I got another one? No, I haven't. Okay. Starborn. Never heard of them. No, me neither. We have a new competitor in this artifact hunt. Apparently so. Uh... Oh, talk to Noelle. Oh, of course, she's taking the readings from the things, aren't we? Uh, I was about to talk with Sarah, but she actually wants to have a proper talk with me at some point, doesn't she? So does Barrett, so does Sam. And I need to uh, chat things over with Andresia, so I'll speak to them next time. But, uh, Noelle? <laughs> we, um, yeah, we went through some trials to get this thing and also to get it back home. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? 
Uh, <laughs> I have seen things. Um, yeah, have, have any strange ships appeared around Jemison? Just, just asking. No. Okay, cool. Um, right. I'd like you to download the logs from the ship, just to, you know, just as a precaution. Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Oh, well, this thing actually works. Is that, is that a prototype? I have no idea. No, that material isn't anything we, what the? Everyone, come take a look at this. Oh, we've actually got a full blown meeting going on. This is cool. Hello, oh, Matan, been, been a while. Uh, That's no sorry, question. Sarah, was, was that your spot? Fight. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Lord. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. Hmm. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. The creators I'm of them? I'm just going to say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Hmm. Uh, I'm with Sam. That starship design could easily be human. Uh, it didn't look particularly human. I mean, we only got to see it from one side before it started blasting at us. Barrett's point, the artifacts, the artifacts clearly aren't human-made. I think yeah that's pretty clear unless we're talking about some previous um some previous era of humanity that was traveling the stars created the artifacts and then what suddenly got completely devolved back into what we actually came from unlikely Mateo's metaphor has merit they acted like they were judging us i mean they definitely acted like they were judging us and like they were scolding us. <laughs> like you okay? A, like like a kid with a hammer. Um, <laughs> like put that down. That's not a toy. But no, I think they clearly know an awful lot more about. Well, not not an awful lot more about the artifacts, but they clearly know what the artifacts are. And they've been tracking us for a long time, without ever exposing themselves until now. Maybe this is an intelligent race. No settled systems lab made these things. Uh huh. And I doubt one of them made that ship either. So we got some weird extra dimensional uh, beings mind, that Noel? coincidentally decide <laughs> to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, no. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors the gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. That was nothing like we're What's in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can including some way to fight them if necessary wow <laughs> until then okay. we stay the course collect the artifacts it's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them what what is what is sam being huffing whilst we've been in neon has he been on the aurora again that thing was absolutely nothing like a human ship construction wise noel already said it's made of materials that we don't recognize uh right shouldn't we try to locate the starborn see if they'll talk um it seems like the starborn like i said before they've been chasing us for a while and have only revealed themselves now i doubt they're in the mood to chat everyone should get ready for a fight yeah interesting that sarah went straight down the military route agreed the only way we learn is to keep going yeah i i've got a funny feeling they're as we collect more artifacts, they are going to be exposing uh, themselves more and more. Hello. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, 
Has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. <laughs> oh, my days. Okay. You got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. Yep, um, get in line. Uh, everybody else wants to talk with me at the moment, apparently. Um, I've just been asked to add an artifact to the table, so I'll have to double check. Have we got another one? I'll check that in a moment. But for now, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, this... Yeah, the way you handle things, not bad. Well, thanks, not Sam. Bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to my audience. Just leave me for a moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, that took a turn, didn't it? So we've got... An unknown group, an unknown entity, possibly an unknown species out there named the Starborn, who are also chasing after the artifact and are trying to deflect us at the same time. Interesting. <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna go down a rabbit hole, I feel. But if you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, pop those down below. As per usual, all comments are appreciated. Pop on over to the Discord as well. It would be great to see you over there. But until next time, take care of yourselves, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.